folks. Welcome to Wait Tails. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Ready? <sighs> Hi, folks. Welcome to Wait Tails. Your I, can't, I forgot when you're recording her, I can't look stupid. So <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard in the gear we have on on our body. Oh, no. Hi, folks. Welcome to White Tails Deer Hunting. Kurt's gonna teach you how to camouflage a deer blind. Okay. What's happening guys? Uh, today's a fun day. Today I get to uh, paint camouflage. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do, you see my canoe in the background here, is I'm going to get that cleaned up, get some brushes, get dirt and cobwebs all off of that and let that dry. It's supposed to be sunny all day long today, should I, so I should have time to paint, let stuff dry, come back, do second coats. And uh, I'm also going to paint that blind today that I built this past winter. We're getting ready to set that blind up here in about two weeks. So today, paint the canoe. Paint the blind, do a little camouflage, have fun. Spent three hours today trying to get my Titan 440 airless paint sprayer to work. I must be a couple of seals inside or bad because it'll do everything but build enough pressure to spray the paint. So I'm up with a roller and a brush. You guys will get a kick out of this. Guy in a camouflage hat and boots walks into Hobby Lobby and buys plants and flowers. Fake ones. What's the lady at the cash register do? She couldn't do anything but laugh. So here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put the base layer of paint on both the blind and the canoe today. And then I'm gonna take these uh, fake plants that I bought and use them as stencils uh, to go ahead and spray paint over the base layer. So if I have a light color, on the actual blind as the base layer. I'll do a dark color paint with the stencil over top of it or vice versa. And that way it gives it kind of a 3D effect. So here's an arm, flexible arm that I bought off Amazon that I camouflage painted, uh, similar to what I'm gonna be doing today with the canoe and also with the blind. Uh, you can see I got my phone sitting in there. 
Uh, it is effective if everything is totally and completely still, like I can put it on my climbing sticks in my tree stand. Uh, I just set it up in the canoe so you guys could see it, but there's no way it would work in the canoe. It's flexible enough that every time you paddle, it would vibrate and everybody would get sick watching the video I'm trying to take. In the description below, you will find a link to the gooseneck phone holder mount that I camouflage to hold my iPhone when I mount my tree stand. Look soon for a video to come out that shows you guys how I outfit my bike to be able to carry my bow, to be able to carry my sticks, my hang-on stand, backpack, and anything else that's heavy.